Good evening. What's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday night. It is the Earth Master here, about uh, 10.23 p.m. California time, August 5th, 2024. Latest activity here on the globe shows a 1.1 into the California area. A little small earthquake there. Let's go ahead and start off in the Southern California area where there's a handful of little earthquakes popping up down here. Of course, we were watching this little swarm event earlier. Uh, looks like, uh, for the most part, things have died off here in this general area. Uh, but we got about 11 earthquakes or so within that area of the uh, Brawley Seismic Zone and also the Imperial Fault. A couple other smaller quakes out here as well uh, since this morning's update. As far as uh, Northern California goes, a handful of smaller quakes up here underneath Lake Almanor again. 2.8, fairly shallow there, just... Almost a, almost a surface quake here underneath this area. And then uh, 1.7 from earlier this morning. Uh, Northern California offshore, pretty quiet. A couple smaller quakes out here just off the Cascadia. Let's see what we got for tremor activity tonight. Or at least for the day. A little bit of uptick here. 124 epicenters of tremor at the southern end of the Cascadia. So we could see... Well, there's a mosquito in here. We could see a little bit of uptick here following that trimmer activity today. A lot of times the uh, trimmer activity will add further strain and stress here. And periodically we'll get these little small quakes that pop up. So we'll watch this throughout the night. Uh, see if that doesn't increase a little bit. A couple of smaller earthquakes there around Mount Hood still. Nothing big, just a handful of smaller quakes. Same for Mount St. Helens, but really... Nothing of any major concern for now. We've got a trail of activity leading up here. Against this crest, this mountain range, you can kind of see it right here. Uh, nothing big. couple smaller earthquakes. 2.5 map. Yeah, that pretty much removes all the quakes except for a 2.7. Back over here in western Nevada area. Yellowstone National Park. Nothing going on here. Um... So let's check this out real quick, see if this side is working, which it is. And um, this is the overview here of Yellowstone National Park and the seismograph stations in general. Yellowstone Caldera there in the uh, black line, Lake Yellowstone here in the blue. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity. There is some type of event. Uh, these look like storms. Uh, probably about three hours or so ago some thunderstorms and I just I do want to double check and verify that uh, and I can go back here on the windy map and check out um, the weather radar and then we'll just go back to the last six hours and observe uh, this area up here there's a, there's already a bunch of storms continuing up here so I'm sure about three hours or so ago we uh, had a series of thunderstorms blow through there lots of lightning you know and, and rain and whatnot so Obviously, that uh, is going to show up across the seismograph stations there. That's what we're seeing uh, about three hours ago. Uh, aside from that, there's really not a whole lot there going on uh, at Yellowstone in terms of local earthquake activity. Uh, over here across the state or the uh, southern plains, nothing big. Just typical movement out there in the oil fields. Really nothing new to report out here across the eastern portion of the country. Mexico did see a five-pointer, 5.4, into the northern edge here of the Middle America Trench uh, earlier, just about noontime here local, 5.4. That was followed up here a couple hours, about, no, about an hour and a half later with a 4.8. So remember these deeper quakes here into the subduction zone. This one was uh, 90 miles into the subduction zone. The other one, an hour and a half later, a little bit shallower, 40 miles upstream here so we'll keep an eye on this area uh with that you know that subsequent movement like that just an hour and a half later seeing some surface adjustment going on so that's a good sign that we got some strain built up here in the middle america trench uh earthquake activity in the gulf of alaska there four pointer from earlier today kind of an odd quake right it's just out there away from the plate boundary out in this little basin here Really no, well, there might be a couple different seamounts out here, a trail of them, but uh, yeah, it's just an odd one. Don't really see too much earthquake activity off of the plate boundary like that out here, so 
little strange quake. Um, further down south here into the South America area, a couple fours from earlier this afternoon. But, uh, you know, South America always getting some earthquakes there on the Peru Chile Trench, and uh, really nothing has changed. I mean, there's a lot of deeper activity. It does, though, appear like it's working its way down here a little bit further along the Peru Chile Trench area. Uh, right around the Chile area, seeing an uptick in earthquake activity. The latest one, a 4.1, 80 miles deep here into the uh, Peru Chile Trench area. Um, I, I was just up in Alaska here, but let's check it out again. Uh, there's a little bit of movement here in the last hour around the Anchorage area and up and down the, uh, the general subduction zone. But twos and threes, and aside from that lonesome odd quake out there today it's uh you know it looks like a typical day out there across the Aleutian Trench with earthquake activity uh here's a little odd one down in the New Zealand area 4.4 uh that earthquake six miles deep I'm getting a little bit of activity up and down the uh, Hikarangi subduction zone region here recently let's go check out the GeoNet servers here real quick and see what's going on um, did I refresh it? Yes, I did. Uh, they're actually reporting it as a 4.8. And uh, that was actually a decent earthquake felt by many people there. 17,000 people fill in this earthquake outside of Wellington, of course, populated areas. These guys, again, reporting a 4.8. USGS reporting this as a 4.4. Either way, keep an eye there on the New Zealand area with the uh, the movement here recently. It's been back and forth between deeper activity here north, uh, North Island area, and then some surface adjustment going on there across the uh, certain faults there around the Hikirangi subduction zone. Uh, let's see, a couple of deeper quakes there around the Mariana Trench. Japan's pretty quiet right now, not a whole lot going on. Same for the uh, Kuro Kamachaka. As you can see up there, there's not... Uh, not too much earthquake activity ramping up there for now. A little bit of adjustment here across the Myanmar region and into China, it looks like. Some fours. Mediterranean, fairly quiet, aside from some older quake activity. Um, let's go check Iceland because I think things are getting kind of close there in terms of seeing the next eruption across the area. Whoa, we're getting some... A little bit of uptick going on out here now. Uh, across the Savart Singhi area and also in general uh, across the rift zones are quite active out here. Let me see here. Around the Katla volcano as well. Uh, Katla's within this region here. There's a little bit of activity further to the west here, but some individual activity here around that uh, volcano. Nothing of any major concern yet. That's still out of green. Uh, but this area rocking a little bit around the uh, Grindavik area. So let's go see if we got any update here today. Well, it's Monday. They could have, they may have provided an update. Let's see here. Nope. This is still put out from, it looks like a three or four days ago here. So really nothing new. They just mentioned here about the increased probability of an eruption here in the coming days. And of course the key to watching this, or key to and uh, realizing when the eruption is going to happen is all the earthquake activity and it's picking up um i'm looking for my eight hour run times here in terms of inflation across the area see where we're at uh Grindvik area here's the vertical displacement down here on the bottom notice that trend upwards indicating some decent inflation in fact we're higher than the previous level uh, right before the last eruption. So any day now, we should see things kick back up there across the Iceland area. Something should take place, whether it's a magma intrusion or some other event. What's going on here? Is USGS offline? We're live. I don't like that when things freeze up like that. It's a little weird. because I was just on here. But something's going on. 
There we go. It updated now. That was really weird. I don't like that when things freeze up. Makes me think someone's up to no good. Hopefully they're not going to pull the live stream down again. Like they did last night. It's always around 3 o'clock in the morning. 3.30 in the morning. But uh, if it goes down again, we'll get it back up. No doubt. No worries on that. All right. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Anything major going on? Uh, you know, not really. Not yet. Space weather activity. Solarham.com is the site. Kevin's up here still trying to get his uh, fundraiser here for the year. 2025-2026 year. He's up around 65% for his goal. Uh, so if you guys feel like uh, helping out, um, you know, Kevin's got a decent site here. I do like it, and I do donate to him when I can. And, uh, you know, everything you need to know here about space weather is easily accessible in a simple layout. And uh, it does take a lot of time and, and dedication to uh, do all this work. So if you can, help him out there uh, with his site. He's got 396 supporters there helping him. Needs a little bit more. Uh, got some type of proton event going on right now across the uh, polar regions. That could be from the recent, uh, you know, we, we had a couple X flares this morning, but normally the proton events will really kick up um, following, um, almost immediately following the flare. So it shouldn't take this long for a proton event from those flares to uh, hit the ionosphere. But something's going on here got a, a little bit of activity across the polar region so nothing big that doesn't mean an uptick in aurora that just means these uh charged protons they're uh, bombarding the planet um a little bit of prominence activity here notice as well it's a filament area good possibility sometimes these things blast off you can see it there on this image uh, fairly nicely. Also back over here, this one here looks like it's starting to loop and maybe lifting off. But there's a couple different ones that are facing the Earth. And if they do blast off, that increases the chance there of seeing uh, the auroras. You know, just like a CME in a way. So we'll keep an eye on that. We do have numerous sunspots as well that are currently facing the Earth. And a very large active region back over here. And if, if I'm not mistaken, this is that same sunspot that uh was out here in may that caused a lot of uh yeah, a bunch of cme activity and uh, the aurora events uh, if i'm not mistaken but it's so hard to keep track of all the sunspots out here because when they come back around the bend after going along the far side of the sun there for a couple weeks they get renamed but they could get renamed numerous times i'm pretty certain that's that same sunspot but who knows too many to keep track of but we do have to watch these areas for some decent flaring. This one area right here looks fairly dynamic. A little bit of complexity going on with the dark, deep colors here in close proximity. So general area out here. You can pretty much draw a line out here or a the circle around all of these sunspots. A uh, Pretty active. Got a decent shot there. I've seen some, uh, some stronger flaring here in the days ahead. 25% chance right now for an X flare. M flare at 75, C flare around 99% chance or so. And there's our two X flares from this morning. One from the uh, western limb and the other one from the eastern limb. Uh, no major auroras in the forecast. And if you're lucky, you got a sliver of a moon out there visible tonight. If you're able to see it. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Hurricane activity out. Look at the Pacific out here getting active. The good thing is these are not going anywhere near land uh, for now, but uh, four different tropical systems out there. Kind of rare to see that, but uh, it's active. Out in the Atlantic, still dealing with Tropical Storm Debbie. And uh, man, they've been picking up a lot of rainfall and they got a lot more to deal with out here. Looks like the current wind speeds at 45 mile per hour sustained winds moving northeast at about seven miles per hour. It uh, is it looks like it's just remaining a tropical storm here for now. Eventually it will weaken, but uh, man, there's a lot of rainfall here in the forecast for this area once again. So we'll keep an eye there on the South Carolina area. Um, goodness, a lot of rain coming in. Let me go over here to the. Um, other tropical site here. I want to see 
what we have. There it is right there, Debbie spinning around. Area of circulation right about here. Notice these deep convection bands here over the warmer waters here. This is going to be pulling up a lot of storms, convection, and uh, just dumping the rainfall in this area. It is expected to uh, wobble back and forth here a little bit. Um, some of the weather models here are showing exactly what the GFS model was showing last night or this morning and uh, a little bit outward flow and it could strengthen a little bit here over the water and then it's going to take a uh, sharp dive inland bring all that moisture with it and then head off to the north but that's a crazy it's a crazy loop that it does watch this put this into motion here kind of goes offshore a little bit and then just hovers there inland and you know it's just it's the worst case scenario when it comes to uh, the rainfall potential out there it's crazy uh, but it's not going to last forever. Eventually, Debbie will be out of there. And uh, it does look like some more generalized storms out here throughout the rest of August. But as far as tropical systems go, I'm, uh, you know, there's nothing yet. Uh, aside from the Debbie activity right now. All right. Um, I think that's about it, folks. Seismograph stations are pretty darn quiet right now. There's not a whole lot popping off. Things are uh, they're just quiet. A little activity right now. A little 1.1 it looks like up in Alaska. Three-pointer back over here around the Philippines. We'll see what happens throughout the evening. Have a good night, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here in the in the morning for the Tuesday morning update. Take care and stay safe. We'll see you guys soon.